Welcome to my 50th video on helping people study for actuarial exam 2 in financial math. We did some derivations in the last video. Video We'll continue derivations in this video. From pages 127 and 128 of the 6th edition of Bergman, we'll be representing symbolically the present and future values of a sequence of n arithmetically increasing payments. In the last video, they were geometrically increasing payments where we kept multiplying the previous payment by the same amount to get the next payment. This time we keep adding the same amount to the previous payment to get the next payment. So suppose we have a series of n periodic payments. First payment of amount 1 and all subsequent payments are 1 more than the previous payment. That's what makes this arithmetic. Suppose that i is the effective annual interest rate per payment period and there's two derivations to do. 1 and 2 here. First show that the present value of the sequence of payments one period before the first payment, so as an annuity immediate, is given by this expression here, a n double dot minus n times v to the n over i. Recall a n double dot is the present value of an annuity due with payments of one, so it's a bit strange. Our annuity here in this problem is an annuity immediate, but the formula involves an annuity due n is again the number of payments, v is 1 over 1 plus i, the present value discount factor. This quantity does have a symbol for it, a special symbol, it's denoted by i a sub n, i standing for increasing, it's an increasing annuity, a standing for present value, n standing for n payments. Secondly, show the accumulated or future value of the sequence of payments immediately after the final payment, so again as an annuity immediate is this expression here, which again involves an annuity due, the future value of an annuity due there, s n double dot. This is denoted by i s sub n, i again indicating that it's an increasing annuity, s that we are after our future value, and n is the number of payments. So these formulas are a bit strange, but they are true. Think about a timeline here. We've got n periods. We're going to be evaluating the present value one period before the first payment, so the present value will be evaluated at time zero, and the first payment of one will be at time one. And then we keep increasing these payments by one. We have a payment of two at time two, a payment of three at time three, etc., a payment of n at time n. So again, this symbol here, i a sub n, is the symbol for the present value of this annuity. So I can say i a sub n as a series would be, well, take the one and discount it back by one period. So its present value is v, where again, v is the reciprocal of one plus i. Take the two and discount it backwards by two periods. Its present value is two v squared. The three gets discounted by three periods. Its present value is three v cubed, etc. The n minus first payment of n minus one goes back n minus 1 periods, and the last payment of n goes back by n periods. Right, so as a series, as a finite series, this would represent the present value. We'd like a closed form formula for it. Turns out to equal this in the end. That would be simpler to use. Finding that formula, deriving that, is a bit tricky. Uh, here's the trick. Multiply both sides of this series by 1 plus i, where again, v is the reciprocal of 1 plus i. Let me put the answer up here. 1 plus i times i a sub n. What happens when you multiply v by 1 plus i? Well, you get 1. What happens when you multiply 2v squared by 1 plus i? You get 2v. When you multiply 3v cubed by 1 plus i, you get 3v squared, etc. Your next term would be 4v cubed. When you multiply um, n minus 1 times v to the n minus 1 by 1 plus i, you'll get a plus n minus 1 v to the n minus 2. And finally, when you get when you multiply n v to the n by 1 plus i, you get n v to the n minus 1. Now compare these two series. And I purposely tried to put like powers of v directly above each other. Of 
what do you see? You see a nice relationship between these. And in fact, if you subtracted the bottom series from the top, you'd get not complete cancellation, but partial cancellation that might be a nice kind of partial cancellation. Uh, and on the left side, you'd get the I, A, N's canceling you'd be left with when you subtract I times I, A, N. Again, we get partial cancellation. This one doesn't cancel with anything, so we have a one. 2V minus V is V. 3V squared minus 2V squared is V squared. 4V cubed minus 3V cubed is V cubed, etc. We'll get an, uh, a V to the N minus 2 and a V to the N minus 1. Ignore that. And now subtract N V to the N. You see this starting to come into shape here to get the final answer. We do. See, we are going to divide both sides by i. Here we see an n v to the n. Is this thing what's that's left over here? Is that a n double dot? The answer is yes, it is. Divide both sides by i. This thing right here is the same as a n double dot. It's got n payments of one that are being discounted and the present value is be found, being found immediately right before that first payment, which actually means it's an annuity due, not an annuity immediate. Its present value is a n double dot, and we also have the minus n v to the n, and we divide it by i. So we have derived this formula for i a n, the present value of an annuity immediate, an increasing annuity immediate, where the payments are 1, 2, 3, etc with n payments and the last payment being n. We can do a similar derivation for the accumulated value to get this, but it's almost always easier to use what we've just done. This is the present value of this series of payments at time zero. If we want to promote it in time to time n and find its future or accumulated value immediately after that last payment, as an annuity immediate, we can just multiply both sides of this by 1 plus i to the n. Let's do that. So the future value or accumulated value i s sub n of this thing is going to be 1 plus i to the n times the present value. And when you multiply um, 1 plus i to the n times this fraction, it goes through the top. So you get 1 plus i to the n times a n double dot minus n v to the n times 1 plus i to the n, you're going to get complete cancellation to 1. So that simplifies to an n. The bottom stays the same. And this thing is s n double dot. The future value of an annuity due with payments of 1 and payments of 1 for each period. So we have now derived the second equation. Okay. So we're going to make use of these equations in coming videos to solve practical problems.